8.30 right now. Here's a look at our top stories. Canadian soldiers and veterans are planning a rally on Parliament Hill today on this 68th anniversary of the D-Day invasion. Today, they are fighting for what they say is the low standard of benefits for veterans of recent wars. The Canadian Veterans Advocacy Group wants to honour the soldiers who fought on the beaches of Normandy, France in the Second World War and helped liberate Europe. But the group's head, Michael Blais, also says they want to draw up the public's attention to how veterans are treated today. Police in Vancouver are now trying to identify body parts mailed to two elementary schools in their city. Police can't say if the human remains are linked to the Montreal murder case against Luca Magnata. Yesterday afternoon, a package containing a foot arrived at a private boys' school, while another package with a severed hand arrived at an elementary school. Last week, a torso was found in a suitcase near Montreal dumpster, and a foot and hand were mailed to two political offices in Ottawa. And a suspect in the death and dismemberment of Jun Lin could be back in Canada as early as this week. Luca Magnata did not object to being extradited back to Montreal. Canada must formally request his extradition before his case can go through the German courts. Magnata is wanted on several charges, including first-degree murder in connection to the killing and dismemberment of a Chinese national, Jun Lin. He was arrested earlier this week. And police in Gatineau are looking into any possibilities between Luca Magnata and an unsolved murder. The body of 18-year-old Valerie LeBlanc was discovered last August, burned and with severe head trauma near a college she attended. They stress it's routine procedure for police to look for connections given the distinct nature of the crime. The federal government is working to make a key ingredient found in the street drug bath salts illegal. Reporter Melissa Lamb is live with more on this new drug. Melissa? Well, Annette, these aren't the same kind of bath salts found in your home or in the pharmacy. This is an extreme synthetic drug that causes paranoia, aggression, and hallucinations. It is legal to import and legal to own and sold through the internet or in head shops. The drug has made headlines recently after an innocent man was attacked in Florida. His face was eaten by a man who they believe is on bath salts. Now the Canadian government is moving to make an ingredient in bath salts illegal by placing it under the Controlled Substance Act. Is legal substance add the same title as any other uh, marketable product that you're talking about fruits vegetables cream lotion shampoos they are the same level they're non-regulated at this time now the use of basalts is on the rise in Canada but police officials say some of the largest growth is right here in Ontario Annette? All right, Melissa, thanks for that. And finally, the sound and light show on Parliament Hill is cancelled tonight. Evening sessions of the House of Commons are possible. Therefore, the spring showing of Mosaica will be on hold until tomorrow night. For more information on the show, you can log on to the NCC's website, canadascapital.gc.ca.